God was like, I didn't change. I didn't, I didn't lose my spot. I gave you what I wanted you to do then. I gave it to you there, and I need you to obey me now. <laughs> do you know how big our God is? That when he speaks it to you and believe it in faith, then he'll confirm it. He'll confirm it over and over and over and over again. And what ended up happening in me figuring out that this was the word for this year, I was like, God, anchored? I don't even know. Okay, like that's what you want to do? And he said, yeah, I'll prove it to you. So me and my wife and a couple of our friends went on a vacation in August. And August 25th, we're going to this. I, I'm, I'm, I am one of those people that when you go on a vacation, especially in a different country, the first place I want to go is to the grocery store because I want to know how American is this place. I want to know, can I find Doritos? Can I find Oreos and can I find some Sprite? Because if anything goes wrong, I'll be able to survive on those. I don't know, judge me if you want, but this is how I do when I go to other countries. And so we're on our way walking from this nice hotel to like the hood corner store. And as I'm watching over my back to see if I'm going to have to shank somebody, I um, walk up on this picture that I want to show you right here that God said that he would confirm his word to me. I'm walking and out of nowhere comes this 12 foot anchor. And I literally look at this anchor and I'm like, what in the world is that? You just told me that the word is anchored. And now I don't even think it was 19 days later, he presents to me an anchor. I don't know if y'all got that in the back, but if you, if you don't just put it on the thing. When I saw this, it stopped me in my tracks because it was God practically confirming what he told me privately. I want to let you know that God will confirm publicly and practically what he told you. Everybody say privately. And I know some of y'all are like, well, I've already got everything figured out and all this other stuff. But God literally put a 12 foot anchor in my view and said, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. And my question to you is what has God put in your view that you thought was just scenery? God's speaking. He's trying to show you. He's trying to develop you. He's trying to engage you right now. Somebody say God speaks. I see this 12 foot anchor, August 25th, 2020. Here it is. And my wife is like, what are you doing? I said, I got to go take a picture of this. I hadn't even told Natalie yet. And I just take a picture of the anchor. And I'm like, all right, God, but you remember that story in Judges? When Gideon asked twice, don't be mad at me. But if I'm about to tell hundreds of thousands of people that we're supposed to anchor, this can't be cute because I'm going to have people telling me I'm a false prophet and I'm going to have people disconnected from the church and I'm going to have people. God, I don't want the problems. I just want to hear from you. And God said, I'll confirm it. So later on, we get on a boat and go to this little private beach area. And we had been there like two or three days in a row. Little flamingos walking around. When I want to hear God, I go to the beach. Y'all hear me? And I just be looking, just letting all my cellulite hang out and everything. I just, I just, we working on it. We about to get anchored in the name of Jesus. But, but I was sitting there and we're on our way to catch the boat back. And God said, he whispered, look to your right. And I looked to my right. I was like, ain't nothing to the right. And God said, yes, it is. This is what was to my right. Could you please put it on the screen? A 30 foot anchor. I said, oh, like you really, now this is the funny thing. I asked my wife and my sister who went on the trip with us. I said, did y'all see this anchor every day? They said, we haven't seen it one day. But because we passed it over and over. It was there the whole time. But when I looked, when God whispered to my heart, I then saw a confirmation to what God had already told me privately. He wanted me to know that he was with me publicly. So I took a picture. 
next to this big anchor. And I said, God, I'm going to teach anchored this year. That was back in August. You know, when time goes by from when God says something to you, it can get a little, it can be a little shaky. Like I done, I, done, I done seen a lot of things. God's done something. Maybe the word for a year is forgive because we did the whole FU series. And God was like, I didn't change. I didn't, I didn't lose my spot. I gave you what I wanted you to do then. I gave it to you there. And I need you to obey me now. <laughs> I'm just trying to help somebody anchor. So I went back to him one more time. Hey, Lord, it's the end of the year. <laughs> I just, could you please just confirm? I've been in your presence. I got a pattern. You made it really practical. And, and you've been persistent in telling me this is exactly what you want me to do. But I just want to know you're still with me. And I don't think that God looks at that as a bad thing when you ask him in faith. Because my concern is I just don't want to do nothing without you. Like, I don't, I, don't want, I don't want to cross this line if you're not over the line. And God said, I got you, son. Me and Natalie go to a restaurant to have breakfast. This has never happened to me ever. And this is what happened on December 30th. Take a look at your screen. Look, I can't make this stuff up. At the bottom of my cup, look at that, is a what? Ooh, they need to clean this cup. Anchor. But it's a what? Anchor. It's an anchor at the bottom of my cup. Ooh, God is speaking, TC. He's speaking. Now you look good. Glory to God. Glory to God. I go to take a sip. And I look at, I don't never look at the bottom of my cup. And God placed an anchor at the bottom of my cup. So if anybody has a question about the, what the word of the year is for TC, <laughs> go find another church. Go find a different. But the one thing I know is that when God spoke that we were supposed to be anchored, because I got in his presence, I found a pattern. It was practical. He was persistent. The thing that I get to stand here next year at this time and do is I get to prove it. See, the last part of God doing what he does is it's proven. The reason I stand in confidence today is because I don't have to make this word come to pass. I just have to obey it every step of the way. And it's proven. It was proven when God told us to maintain and to sustain. It was proven when he said, go beyond. It was proven when he said to stride. It was proven when he said it was the year of release. It was proven last year when he said we would get stronger. And now it will be proven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because me and you are gonna get what? Anchor. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.